Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IES. Welcome to another session of Indian Economy Essentials. And in today's session, let's try and understand why government of India very recently has announced a stock limit on one of the very important agriculture commodities in India, that is wheat. Now, let's start with the basics here. Government of India needs to ensure that there is a sufficient supply of wheat in the domestic market. There is sufficient supply of wheat. The reason is very simple. If there is no sufficient supply of wheat in the domestic market, automatically what will happen is, the market prices will start increasing. And when market prices of agriculture commodities will start increasing, it will not only cause food inflation, but it will also cause a rise in the overall inflationary rate in the market. For example, if you look at the inflation trend in the domestic market, that is specifically, if you look at what is the inflation rate for some of the agriculture commodities, that is rice as well as wheat, you will realize that for the last couple of months, the inflationary rate for wheat, that is wheat inflation, has been in double digits. And what about the cereals? What about the cereals which covers all these crops? Even the cereal inflation rate has been in double digits, which is a cause of concern for government of India. So point number one that you need to understand as to why government of India has decided to impose a stock limit is one, there is a concern that inflation might happen in the domestic market, which is already high. Specifically, again, what inflation I'm talking? I'm talking about inflation in wheat, inflation in pulses, inflation in cereals, etc. But we are specifically talking about wheat here. Second very important point. There is a lot of discussion that rainfall this year could be lower. And I'm pretty sure all of you come across the term El Nino. Because of El Nino, there is expected to be a lower amount of rainfall this year. And I'm pretty sure all of you know the fact that rainfall plays a very, very important role. That is especially monsoon plays a very important role in agriculture sector. If there is lower rainfall, agriculture production would be affected. And second, if there is a delayed onset of the monsoon, which has happened already, if there's a delayed onset of the monsoon, it will also has a, have a huge impact on agriculture production, supply to the market and thereafter. So second very important concern for the government of India is there is a delayed onset of monsoon and because of El Nino, there could be lower rainfall this year. Third, wheat, especially in case of India, wheat, demand for the wheat is generally very high in the domestic market. And government already estimating that there is a, going to be a very high demand, supply could be disrupted, etc is already conducting open market sale scheme, OMSS, -S, open market sale scheme. And as per the data that has been published by the government, government has clearly stated under open market sale scheme, 1.5 million tons of wheat would be supplied by the government, that is government agencies in the market. Now, what is basically the idea for open market sale scheme? Under the open market sale scheme, government agency such as Food Corporation of India, which has procured certain crops from the market by paying MSP, such as wheat. It has procured and stored the food grain. And whenever there is expected lower supply in the market, that is supply in the market comes down and there is a concern that the market prices will start increasing, they will offload. Offload simply means they will auction and sell these wheat crops in the market. And that is basically being done by the government under open market sales scheme in order to ensure that supply will be there and the market prices will cool down. And the fourth very important point related to this article, looking at all of these factors, government of India now says, I will impose a stock limits on wheat. I'll explain this. The government of India has announced that government would be imposing stock limits on the wheat, which will come in, in implementation very soon and it will continue for the complete financial year till the end of the financial year 24. Now, what is this idea for imposition of the stock limits? Let's understand the basic idea here. Here is a wholesaler. Wholesaler will purchase wheat from the market, supply it to let's say a retailer and a retailer will sell this wheat to customers or consumers in the market such as you and me. 
Now the wholesaler as well as the retailer will look at the situation in the market. They know that there is expected downfall or there is expected mismatch between the supply and demand. What if the wholesaler, wholesaler as well as retailer, they'll start stocking more and more. Stocking means storage. They will start storing more and more. And when both of them or any one of them, if they store more and more supply to the market that is in the retail market automatically will go down. And when the supply in the retail market will go down, we will continue to demand wheat in the market. And as a result of this, market prices will start increasing. That is a precise reason. Government of India stated that I want to go ahead. I want to simply uh, prevent this situation from happening. And what I'll do is I will impose a stock limits on these participants in the market. For example, if you are a wholesaler, the stock limit that has been decided by the government is 3000 million tons. If you are a retailer, the stock limit that has been decided by the government is 10 million tons. If you are a food processor, the stock limit that has been decided is 75% of installed capacity. Again, although there is one more condition there, don't worry. So these kind of stock limits have been imposed and weekly basis on weekly basis, these people will have to declare as to what is the amount of stock they are holding. And the whole object of government of India is very simple. By imposing these stock limits, these intermediaries or let's say the middlemen in the market, they will not be able to hold these crops. And if they are not able to hold the crops, automatically the supply of the crops in the market will increase. And this will cool down or this will help government in controlling the market prices of the crop that is wheat here. So these are certain very important points in the context of wheat that is there in the discussion in the current affairs. Now based on this, I have given a question here. Which of the following measures may be undertaken by the government to cool the food inflation? I am not talking about overall inflation, I am specifically talking about food inflation. Point number one, imposing stock limits. Of course, yes, if government of India will impose the stock limits, we are expecting supply to be higher in the market, there is there will there will be no hoarding activity and that will help government in cooling the market prices of the agriculture commodities. Conduct open market sales that is also being done by the government. Open market sales whenever it is done supply to the market would increase right will cool down the market prices. Third one reducing the tariffs on exports of agriculture commodities. No this will be wrong. Why? If government of India reduces the tariff on export commodities, these exports in the international market will become cheaper. And if they become cheaper, automatically the export of these agriculture commodities from Indian market to the external market automatically will increase. In fact, many of, many of you will simply ask me, sir, has it been done by the government earlier? Of course, yes. In the last two years itself, many of these agriculture commodities, government of India has increased the tariffs, has increased the taxes on these agriculture commodities when they are exported from India and the objective is that when the tariffs or the taxes are increased these the prices of these agriculture commodities will automatically increase when these are exported to the international market thereby reducing the competitiveness right and prohibiting more and more exports from happening from India. So third factor or third point no it will basically increase the inflation by reducing the supply in the domestic market. So first and second are correct. Right option for the question will be option B. Only two statements are correct here. So these are the various important aspects or let's say the concepts that I wanted to discuss regarding the imposition of stock limits by the government on wheat commodity in the market. If you like these initiatives, please hit the like button. Provide your valuable comments in the section below. And if you are yet to subscribe to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS YouTube channel, kindly do it now. Thank you. Have a great day.